Hey everyone, Jeffrey here. And one of today's first stops is at one of my rental houses that I call the 1939 house. It's all ready to move in. And the inspector said that I had to have a window that opened and had a screen on it in the basement. So I'll show you that. Then later I want to go over to another rental house that I call the 1936 house that I want to do some yard work and dig up a small daylily that's growing on the side of the yard and bring it home. All right, let's get going. I want to check on things and wipe up the tile floor in the entryway while I'm here because it's been raining a lot and switch which lights I leave on for security. I just painted this back door last week and I'm proud to say that it doesn't have one drip mark on it. Uh, along with the handrails. It did pretty good because the night that I painted them, uh, it rained really hard. And look, it wouldn't be a rental property without a mattress or a big box of trash. And I sprayed a lot of the weeds, so hopefully by tomorrow they'll be dead. I've already pulled up a lot, and what gets me is that I just had rock delivered here a few months ago, and there's already weeds growing in it. So anyway, down here are these two windows that are boarded up that I'm sure were original to the house. Um, they open up from the bottom in and up, kind of like a latch. They don't have screens, and the county inspector says it has to have them. And it's funny because these have been here for 84 years now, and there's one other regular size window already uh, that doesn't have a screen, so figure that one out. So off to Home Depot I went. I ended up buying a smaller window because of cost and I have some 2x4s and foam board along with plywood so I can frame it up. I didn't film it but I spent an afternoon taking the old window out. I framed it up and cut the plywood to finish it off. I painted all around it plus I finally did the walls in that area covering a yellow drip stain from a long time ago. I saw a bag of pine cones for sale at $5.99 with probably seven in it, and they were small. Hey, there's nothing better than free. I've been working on this fence all week, cutting a lot of the vines off uh, that are ruining this already old fence. It runs between driveways, so for now I don't want to take it down. And I do have a few slats of fence in my basement that I'll eventually replace the missing ones with. Here's the old window I took out and brought home. It's 53 inches tall by 41 inches wide, so it's a pretty good size window. It needs to be sanded and repainted, that's for sure. So for now, I propped it up on a couple of bricks under my back patio. And here come the alliums. The variety name is Snowball. I dotted them in this flower bed under my big maple tree in my backyard. And I still need to clean up a few tulip remnants, and the only thing I've planted so far is a spider plant. Soon, it will be time to plant this area up. The lavender is doing great, and it just put on its first show. Uh, it'll put on one now, and then one later this summer. 
And here's my tomato plants I just planted. There's three different varieties, so we'll see how they do when it gets warmer. Now I'm at 1936 house mowing and look how high the grass is. I'm going to have to bring over the weed eater and I'm going to do a little walkthrough to check on everything. Basically the same thing as the other house and switch the lights that I leave on. The tile job turned out great in the upstairs bathroom. I still want to caulk a little bit more on one side of the bathtub wall, but other than that, it's officially done. Here's the downstairs bathroom and basement main room. I did walkthrough videos on both 1939 and this house, the 1936 house, so be sure to look for those. Oh, and look what was left on for three days that I forgot about. Out here is the plant I'm after on the left. There's a few dotted along this property and this one is wedged up against the basement and it's in a weird spot and it's the biggest one so I decided to dig this one up and take it home in a trash bag. It ended up that I could separate it and I got three they're in pots for now, um, until I decide where I want them. They're an orange variety, but I'm going to try and change the color from another one that I have that's like a dark burgundy color. We'll see. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one.